Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew invited partnership in St. Kitts and Nevis's quest to become a full-fledged sustainable island state in regards to renewable energy by the year 2030 when he spoke at the COP28 World Leaders Climate Action Summit recently held in Dubai. In his address, Prime Minister Drew outlined the intention to create a sustainable renewable energy solution in the context of the country's contribution to address climate change issues. He made the point, however, that while small island states are engaging in finding solutions, it is the larger industrialized countries that have caused the climate change problems. Nevertheless, he said, small island states, including St. Kitts and Nevis, are not playing the victim, but are assertively contributing to solutions. As such, he called on larger developed countries to become partners and investors in the solutions applicable to small countries such as St. Kitts and Nevis, especially in the development of geothermal energy. That even though we are small and we are suffering, we are not playing victimhood. We are looking for partners and for solutions, and we have invested our own monies to make sure that we can transition. But we are asking that you join us. For example, to develop the geothermal, we have gotten or uh, we have put forward 17 million US dollars of our own money. We need another 20 million US dollars. And this is where we're asking that partners can join us to help us to build out this resource that can help significantly in the region like the Caribbean. And so we are not claiming victimhood, we are claiming partners and to be part of the solution to resolve this matter. We see this as a moonshot, because it has to be a moonshot. I see in the theme that we mentioned the word orderly transition, but I would like to order, um, offer up something that I consider oxymoron, that is disruptive orderly transition. The reason for that, if we are to accelerate, it means that we have to transition very quickly. In and of itself, that is already a disruption, but it can be done orderly. And so I want to say to the world, from the Caribbean, and from our small state which has taken a big step to help to resolve this matter, that let us all join together, because if we don't, we will all be at loss. Let us work together to save ourselves. According to sources, the delegation of St. Kitts and Nevis took several opportunities to encourage countries to invest in the Federation, particularly in support of renewable energy. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.